Howdy, John. So well back here again with another video, and I'm here to give you another Dragon Ball Super review. I'm here to review Dragon Ball Super episode 19. Now, of course, if you haven't seen this episode, please go check it out because this review may contain spoilers. But that being said, let's get into Dragon Ball Super. Now, I've tried to review this episode several times, so I'm going to try and make this as short as possible if I can before I lose complete interest because I'm pretty sure a lot of fans lost complete interest in this series after watching this episode. Now, let's put it out there. I love Dragon Ball Super for various reasons. Is it better than its predecessors? Not really, but it's you have to give it time. I mean, like, the first several sagas to any freaking series is not amazing. The first seasons to any other series is not the best seasons. They obviously get better over time, especially if the people involved put in the work. However, episode 19 doesn't really do that, for various reasons. And let's not beat around the bush, let's not sugarcoat this shit, let's not fucking play games, folks. Let's not. If you have if you watched my previous reviews for Dragon Ball Super, you knew this was coming. So prepare your butts, because shit's gonna go down. Yes, we've officially entered the Dragon Ball Super Resurrection F Saga. It's finally fucking here. It's Fukatsu no F. <sighs> yes, we're fucking here. Now, that being said, of course, it's essentially what you've seen in the movies. But you would think that Dragon Ball Super, or at least Toy Animation, would do some kind of differences, some major story differences, to make it somewhat different from the movies, or at least somewhat different from the manga, and for me personally, I was really hoping that the anime would follow suit as the manga did, seeing as how it completely skipped the anime portion, or the saga portion, of that movie. Now granted, I can understand why they decided to do the uh, do it again for the anime versus the manga for one reason and one reason only because the illustrator that does the manga already did technically create the illustrations in the manga and actually, actually let's just put, he fucking did the manga form of Resurrection F. He's not gonna do it again two times in a row. What the fuck? That's just a waste of time, money, and patience. Fuck that shit. But in the anime, they never done it, so fuck it. I can understand why they decided to do it at the end of the day. Sure. But here's the thing. The Battle of God saga, even though it was basically the same thing we already saw and we already knew what was going to happen to a certain extent, they did some major differences. Here's an example. Boma's birthday. Instead of being in a capsule corp, they changed it to a cruise ship. Not a major story device, not a major plot device, not a major story point change, but it was a significant change. Over here... It's basically a shot for shot of the movie. Like, take your fucking Resurrection F Blu-ray, DVD, or digital copy, put it in, play it, the opening credits of that movie, like, I want you to stop the second Frieza's reborn. Stop right there. Stop exactly at that point, the second he enters the fucking movie. That's essentially the episode of this fucking series. Episode 19 is essentially that. Why? Why, I ask of you. Why? But anyways, there are some, some subtle duff differences, very little subtle differences. And before I lose interest and stop giving a shit about this review, I'm going to go right directly into them. Number one, the best one, Piccolo taking care of Pan. We saw this in the movie, however, the subtle difference is this time he's getting crazy. Yes, he's getting all, he's getting all lethal weapon crazy on us. He's getting all Mel Gibson crazy on us. Yeah, Piccolo's fucking doing goofy faces. Now, granted... I know a lot of people have bitched about the changes that these certain serious characters have had tonally, but I don't really find a big deal in it. I fucking thought it's funny, Vegeta goofing around in previous episodes. I, I, I don't know, I find it funny, like Piccolo doing that goofy faces for Pan and trying to make her laugh and be happy. I wanted to cry on how awesome that was. It was fucking hilariously awesome, and just, like, you just feel, fuck, eh. Piccolo's awesome, he's fucking awesome. But moving off of that, my second favorite moment, Ginyu is back. Yes, Captain Ginyu is still alive. I don't know how the fuck that's possible. And also, considering the fact that he has superpowers to change his fucking body, um, you would think that he, for years ago, he would have, like, swapped bodies by now. But, eh, I guess he's kind of, like, used to being a frog. But regardless of any of that, the frog Ginyu is back. I don't know if that's going to have any kind of significant plot point or any kind of uh, plot-driven device in this series but 
I've heard some speculations out there, and some people think that Captain Gideon could be a ha or ha possibly, of course, this is a theory, but possibly have a significant role in the Frieza Saga, or as I like to call it, the Frieza Saga 3.0, because Frieza is Jason Voorhees, and he just won't fucking die and leave us alone because he fucking hates Goku, and Toy Animation likes making money. Yeah. Anyways, those are only the two basic subtle differences that really were a game changer in my eyes. Those are like the only good moments, actually, when I go back and think about it. Because everything else is stock footage. It's opening credits of the movie. It's a shot for shot. With the exception of, like, I guess some color, dire uh, color correction and maybe those little subtle differences and obviously some character dialogue changes, possibly and camera pans, movements, ugh, whatever. But that's pretty much it. That's essentially it. It's the same things, folks. It's the same fucking thing. It's a shot for shot of the movie. It's a shot for shot of the movie. How could Toy Animation be so fucking stupid to spoon feed us the same bullshit we endorsed, we supported, we gave money to? Just months ago. That movie came out months ago, this year alone, and it was a box office success, for, and it was a huge win for anime fans across the world, and we supported that shit, I supported that shit, I love that movie, I still love that movie, I have it on Blu-ray, I watch it sometimes, it's fucking awesome, Battle of Gods, you watch it back to me, it's fun shit, but why the fuck... Is Toy Animation so driven on refabricating and repackaging this fucking content that Akira Toriyama worked hard to create for these fuckers, even though he didn't have to, for a TV audience? Like, I feel like this would have been a superior move on Toy Animation's part, and I feel like this should have been doing this from the get-go. Episode 1 of Dragon Ball Super. Use those filler episodes. You know what? Use those filler episodes. I don't have no problem with those. Filler episodes. Filler up the fucking episodes up! Sure, Goku wants to be a farmer, do it. Vegeta wants to fucking go on dates with fucking Boma and train, do it. I don't care. I like Herky wants to take all the fame as he always does. Uh sure, do that as well. Fuck it. But don't fucking repackage the movies as if you're making new content. You're not making new content. Don't fucking play. You know, just if I, like just do this. Battle of Gods arc. Show the movie. Make a TV version, like, cut it down to certain points, and just show the movie. There you go. That's the movie. That's the episode. Special. Battle of Gods, the special. Dragon Ball Super Special. Battle of Gods. Just show the movie. There you go. Go back to filler episodes, and then once we reach the Resurrection F Saga, which we have done already, just show the movie again. Special it up. Dragon Ball Super Special Number 2. Resurrection F. And then we could be done with it, and we can get to what we all have been waiting for, which is the Universe 6 Saga, which the manga have been started doing as we speak. Now, granted, I can understand why they didn't do it. It's a series. They want to serialize it. I get that. But it's just unfair, and it's also just a bitch slap to everyone who supported your shit in the first place. You know? I mean, like, those movies really brought back joy into every fan's hearts. And it was very, very important, and it was very awesome. But no, no, they don't care. They just want more money, they want ratings, they want to fucking just ruin everything that was great about the movies and just repackage them for a TV audience. Thank you, Toy Animation. Thank you. But at the end of the day, uh, that's pretty much all I can really say. Final verdict for this episode is a 4 out of 10 out of me. You know what, fuck that, I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10, it doesn't even deserve a 4, I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10, for various reasons, because this episode, amongst the many shitty episodes, or even the guilty pleasure episodes of this series, has produced so, s s thus far, this is the worst, not because it's to horribly made, not because it's horribly animated, or horribly constructed, or, hor or even horribly written, it's a fucking blasphemy episode, because... It's basically a shot for shot of the movie. They just basically took stock footage. This episode is basically stock footage. That's what it is. 
So it gets a 3 out of 10 for me. I really hope no one watches this episode. If you're a legitimate fan and you love this episode, please explain why in the comment section. I actually really want to hear them because I really don't understand how anybody could really like this episode because it didn't give us anything new. It didn't really change anything from from the source material, which is the movie. It didn't really do what the manga should did, which is what the anime should have done, which is skip this whole thing. And it's basically giving us something we've already seen already. It's stock footage. It's fucking stock footage. So it gets a 3 out of 10 for me. I feel like it was just a big bitch slap and, a, and a, just a money grab from in my fucking book. But what are you going to do? At the end of the day, I give it a 3 out of 10. I did not like this episode. I feel like this is the number one episode you can skip and not really miss anything. Like, if you have not watched this episode, well, pretty much I've spoiled everything for you. But once again, I did say spoiler alert. But that being said, you can actually just skip this episode. If you were like, you know what? I don't really want to relive the same content. I want to see only new content out of Super. Go directly to next week's episode. Skip this episode. Don't watch it. And just ignore it. Don't pretend it just never existed. Actually, just get a version of the movie and just watch like the first 10 minutes. There you go. There you go. You saw the episode. Saw the fucking episode. It's pretty much done. It's pretty much the same fucking thing, folks. It's the same fucking thing. Except not as cool looking because, you know, movie budgets are different than TV budgets, but whatever. At the end of the day, it gets a 3 out of 10 for me. And also, <clears throat> before I leave before I leave and completely just want to destroy myself and my audience and my subscriber counts and my likes and feedback, I have to say one thing. Isn't it funny... How Frieza, when they're like flashbacking to Frieza's past, they use stock footage from Dragon Ball Z, but they did not use any stock footage from the specials. Vegeta, Vegeta, Planet Vegeta gets blown up once again by Frieza in a flashback in this episode, but they reanimated it and did not feature Bardock. Did anybody find that funny? Folks, do you realize why they did that? Because Dragon Ball Minus is canon. That special we like that was really awesome and badass and really made Bardock an important character is not canon. I remember getting a fucking comment from a guy who said Bardock the, the special was canon now to the anime. But if Super is canon to Dragon Ball Z, then why the fuck didn't they use stock footage from that special for this episode? You want to know why? Because it's not canon anymore. Toymation, they fucked that up. They go and fuck that up because they changed it because that's not canon anymore. This fucking one shot's more canon. And it's not even that great. I mean, granted, I liked it, but the only reason I did because the introduction of Goku's mom. But that's pretty much it. Fuck. I really did not. I, <laughs> I really didn't like this episode. I'm sorry. This is going to be like my worst review ever, but I can't help it. I really. It's almost pointless reviewing an episode that's essentially a shot-for-shot -shot recreation of the movie. It's impossible. So, at the end of the day, uh, this is going to be more considered a rant, but it's essentially my review of episode 19. I hope everybody enjoyed, and if you didn't enjoy, explain why. Please, I want to I want to hear some defenders on this shit. I want to hear someone try and defend this episode, because it's undefendable. I really do. Try and defend it. I want to hear it. Comment below. Let me know what you personally think about this episode. Uh, what did you think about the re, 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 re mastered an introduction of Frieza once again? He's like, fucking Jason. He won't fucking leave us alone. So he's back again. How do you think his training going to go? How do you feel he's going to uh, become Goat in Frieza? Uh, and let me know your personal speculations on the future of the Resurrection F saga. But that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. And also, uh, we got to see a teaser for next week's episode. We seem to actually getting some somewhat original content. Thank you, Toy Animation. But yeah, Jocko the Galactic Patrolman's coming to town. I fucking can't wait to see that, seeing as how Jocko is one of my favorite characters. Uh, especially after seeing the movie. He's fucking awesome. Uh, he's gonna be interacting with Goten and Trunks, so I can't wait to see that hilarity. Uh, also, we're gonna we might might possibly see Goku and Vegeta in their training session possibly become Super Saiyan Blue. So I really can't wait to see that shit next week. Next week's episode definitely looks like it's gonna be a really interesting badass episode in comparison to this episode, which was basically stock footage from shit we've seen in the past and also a recreation of something that was awesome but isn't anymore and not considered canon. So yeah, thanks for giving us Frieza once again for the billionth fucking time, folks.
But that being said, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Josh12. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I hope you guys enjoyed, and this has been Josh12.